Hi everyone, Richard here. So I have the Viltrox EF R3 for review from Viltrox. Uh, they sent me this EF R3, which looks like this. And uh, it has a lens inside. It is a speed booster. So it's for EF mount to RF mount. So it's for EF lenses to RF body, which is I'm shooting on the Canon R5. And uh, that's the 16mm that uh, you're looking at, which is in crop mode. That's why you can see it's tighter view of you. If it's in uh, full frame mode, it's much wider. But this adapter can only be used with the crop mode. If you use it without, it's in full frame, you get a vignette, heavy vignette and that. So I'm testing this out. Why I'm interested in this is because I'm expecting the Canon RF mount APS-Cs to come out and this one will be very suitable for the APS-Cs uh, RF mount camera, maybe the R7 and then I can use them with this, uh, my old lenses which is the EF uh, 20mm f2.8 and the 50mm f1.4. What's good if you use the speed booster on this is your f-stop will become, this is, will become f1 and this f2.8 and the view of you will be slightly wider you must multiply it by 0 0.071 times so we'll test this out now i'm shooting at the 16mm uh, in crop mode so before we test it out this how different it look like between the canon mount uh, ef to rf this is without crop you can use this in full frame this is the original mount and this is the wheel trucks uh, EF to R3 as how it looks like that's why you see there's a lens there that's why you need to crop it down so we'll switch it over to the EF lens and see what's the difference in the crop mode between the 20mm and without the speed booster first we'll test with the original mount but before I switch it over to this uh, EF mount uh, let's look at the 16mm at its full glory that's how it looks like this is in full frame that's not just now was in crop mode and that's how wide it is i like this lens but uh, for landscape this white is nice but when you're doing a vlogging or a product review i prefer the crop mode for the 16 mm so we'll switch this over so now i'm using the 20 mm ef mount uh, at f 2.8 and this is without crop so this is at the full frame uh, lens because the adapter is the original Canon adapter. So it can use the full frame. That's how it looks like. And then I'm going to switch the EF to a crop mode, the 20mm to a crop mode and see how. So now you're looking at the 20mm in a crop mode. So it looks more like 35mm. So, but it's still f2.8. Um, but let's switch over to this and have a look how it looks like with the speed booster. So this is the 20mm uh, EF R3 crop mode, but it looks brighter. Why does it look brighter? Because now my F stop has gone to F2, so it's way much brighter than it is. I'll switch it. Okay, now it's back to 2.8. So you see it, it can go up to F2, which is much brighter and, uh, and it gives a better bokeh. So F2 with the EF R3 mount. So maybe we'll try F2 and have a look how good it is. So we're currently at F2 and uh, ISO I have to drop it down so I don't need such uh, high ISO and it looks good uh, but if you're using the audio from the camera you hear the camera uh, lens uh, searching for focus and that's not very good so you better have a, a wireless mic on the camera currently I'm using a wireless mic so it will be avoiding that sound from the lens so that's the thing about the old ef lenses but i like it that with the crop mode i can shoot 4k 
uh, without worrying about it overheating because when I was using the 4K in full frame, uh, it overheats in a short while. So I can't do uh, long product reviews and uh, that's why I'm very interested with the Viltrox uh, EF to R3 mounts because then I can use the camera in crop mode but I still get my field of view, uh, wide field of view even though it's in crop mode. So this is the 20mm with the crop mode plus that 0.71 times uh, extra field of view. So it looks better than, than it is, uh, but it looks like as though I took the 16mm and crop it down, but it's even wider than the 16mm in crop mode. So it looks quite wide for this 20mm, which means I can use this for vlogging and uh, maybe we can try it out. But before we do the vlogging, let's try the 15mm f1.4 on this adapter and see how it comes out because I'm very interested in the f1 uh, capabilities if using this adapter. So it was crazy bright because it's f1 and uh, I had to turn it down to ISO, the lowest ISO, which is ISO 200. And it's still too bright. <laughs> I have to increase the shutter speed above 250. So <laughs> that's F1 indoors, low lighting. You even have to increase your shutter speed because I don't have ND filter. It is very, very bright on the 50mm. And then it's F1. So this is a bit wider than 50mm. It's probably like 40 now after the conversion 0 0.17, 0 0.71 times. So it looks good. So it's 50 mm with this EFRF adapter is good because you can get the F1, which is you could pay a lot if you buy an expensive lens, but you can use with this adapter on this camera in the crop mode in 4K. And I don't have to worry about overheating and but it looks good. The only thing you have to worry about is the hunting because it's an old lens, it may hunt. Uh, but if you're using a left mic and the hunting sound, the, you won't hear the motor. So let's have a vlogging with the 20mm in this uh, EF mount. So this is a 20mm at F2 and I have the auto ISO on and I'm shooting with me with my auto action. And let's go into the dark area, so the ISO will bump up by itself, and that's how it looks like. And look at that. So it is good the 20mm can do vlogging, just that you need to use a left mic, if not the lens will be hunting, and then you get the hunting sound from the mic. So this is how it looks like when you walk through. Stabilization is good, just standard. Stabilization, I didn't use uh, high. Uh, and it's a bit heavy for vlogging actually. You're not gonna use this for long. But then again, no problem with the EFR3 mount. It's a great uh, adapter for all your EF lenses, but to shoot in 4K crop mode. So you have the 4K crop mode, and then I don't have to worry about overheating, which, uh, Normally I tend to worry about and I shoot it in full frame. So there you have it. This is a look at the Viltrox uh, EF3 uh, adapter for RF mount uh, RF camera. So I'm using it on the R5 in crop mode. So this is meant for crop mode uh, because it's not meant for full frame. But the advantage is if you're shooting in 4K like me, uh, it reduced the chance of the camera overheating so I'm shooting quite long now with the 4K in the R5 due to I switch it to crop mode and because of the 0 0.71 times factor I get my 20mm at a wide field of view oops actually hit this so I get my 20mm at a wide, wider field of view uh, even with the crop mode so I don't get it in so I, I'm happy with this view, it's good enough for vlogging, it's good enough for uh, reviews, unboxing and I can use the R5 without worrying about overheating. 
So do look at this uh, Wheeltrox EMR3 uh, adapter uh, at their website. I'm not going to leave any links because they sent me this. There's no uh, affiliate links for this and I don't make money out of this. So if you do can help me do a subscribe and share it with your friends uh, about this product be much appreciated and it helps with the Google algorithm and I hope to do more reviews uh, with other things and uh, that's it so a quick look on the Wheeltrox EF R3 adapter for RF mount I'm just hoping the APS-C Canon comes out so I can get hold of this and use it with the APS-C maybe the R7 and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Have a nice day.